What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. This was a doozy. This was a uh, range matchup against one hive 1.0. Yes. Uh, <laughs> The fine ladies and gentlemen over in there, uh, always a pleasure matching these guys. Definitely uh, had um, I've had the opportunity to uh, get that notification. You know, battle day has started against One Hive, and it's I don't know, it gives an electric feeling. Um, love matching up against these guys. You know, it's always always a fun war. We have not got a win yet. That's frustrating. Not gonna lie, but we've been very close, and we're gonna keep at it. And uh, our day will come. I promise you that. 1.0. Our day will come. <laughs> Anyhow, check out the score. 84, 82. Really nice performance by uh, One Hive overall. 1.0, I should say. We'll say 1.0, 2.0. Uh, 2.0 had a, a good war, really. You know, we ended up having to use a few bullies. Um, 1.0 ended up with a few scouts. So that was a big advantage for them. And it kind of paid off because... Let's hop over to our bases first. Um, they had a super sexy TH11 versus TH11 triple there. Um, so that was a big difference maker. Obviously secured a nice star for them there. Um, and then they just had a lot more success. They had, like I said, they have way more attempts. And uh, it paid off. They had one, two, I know for sure, three, four. I think four, 10 versus 10. Yeah. So they had four, 10 versus 10 plus that 11 versus 11. So that was just obviously a huge, huge um, victory up top for 1.0. So nice job. 1.0 and 2.0, you know, did really good overall. You know, nines, I think, let the tens down a little bit because we had to use a few dips, like I had mentioned. Uh, so that is unfortunate, but our 11s had a little bit of success in there as well. Getting some triples we do have. Uh, we did come away, I think, with um, just one 10 versus 10 triple, which I definitely will show that. But uh, just a lot of sexy attacks in here, guys. You know, it was really fun war overall. And uh, congrats to 1.0. Uh, you come victorious again. Uh, like I said, I promise we will one day. <laughs> It will be our day. <laughs> For now, we're just going to check out some sexy replays. Rob, going in here. Good old cold-blooded Lalo. Sort of max attack style here. Um, it creates this funnel now. A couple easy minions, right? Get those, gets those free buildings. Cold-blooded Golem is now in. A couple wizards down. Just help it out. <clears throat> the idea here is to get... Uh, everything into basically because he knows the queen's gonna hop into this air defense chamber and look on the way there is two air defense so he knows he's gonna get at least one if not two with his cold-blooded entry so he even brings a few valkyries just to help get there kind of thing um, and he ends up getting all of this just no problem uh, ends up saving a rage and a few haste for the uh, the air attack just drops a heal spell down when the CC troops come out to help things out <clears throat> queen locks on no problem down goes that baby drag King is in, um, has to hit the ability, but ends up just powering through all this. Everything's going to lock on on that defensive queen. Down she goes. And, it, you know, uh, look at that. Two from a cold blood entry got two air defense the queen and the cc troops like that is just crippling for the base so then comes this max hound <clears throat> right right with the other hound right behind it just get him right in there right there's only one uh this one air defense on the far side so just gets good spread on those hounds as he drops them from like way down here and then gets the loons just backing everything up <clears throat> everything moves in on over to this tesla farm and this one air defense and it's about to go down and once it does everything's just going to continue this kind of clockwise rotation up to the 12 o'clock area still reinforcing with balloons on the outside there everything's now just slowly sort of converging hay spell, hay spell sorry is going to go down uh just to help everything move on over but the queen steps up just in time and helps out with those balloons air defense number four is down a couple more structures to go and it's just cleanup time up losing the queen there at the end so it's a little bit unfortunate but really really sexy tree there rob beautiful all right moving one up here good old mock so this is a mock six attack 
Uh, I was talking about this. Let me pause this real fast. Was talking this about this in previous attacks. I think I call it something different, but this is the Mach 6 attack. And uh, Mach and Mikhail from um, 2.0 have really been uh, doing well with this strat. And the idea here is you're going to take basically all Valkyries, um, no Golem, no Giants, no sort of tanking units, but you are bringing four healers. So you're going to just drop a Queen walk. You, you ideally need to take care of a few things, obviously. You want to get the CC troops pulled out because you don't want them locking onto those Valks. So that's the most important thing. If you can get the CC troops pulled out and then create a funnel without having a Golem or Giants, and just have your Valks go right into a defensive queen and then move in through the base um, using heals. That's the idea here. And then in your clan castle, you're taking six max miners. So you're going to see how this plays out here. I think he goes in from about this six o'clock here. Queen, uh, sorry, queen charge down first. Uh, she's just going to take out all of this crap to take out the defensive queen and pull up the CC. That, that's really all that matters out of this queen charge. Well, after that, you don't want her to die, obviously, but um, after that, it really, you just, uh, all, all you want her on is clean up at that point. It is nice when she jumps in and helps out every now and then, obviously, but the idea here, obviously, you get this defensive queen, down goes that poison, slow her attack speed right down. Down goes that defensive queen, and in one moment here, he's going to pull the CC here. I'm trying to see where the um, range is. I don't, I know there's no way he goes in, unless he knows what's in the CC if it was like a hound. No, here comes that hog. Going to yank that CC right on out to that queen. Out comes a drags, a loon, a whiz, and a barb. Don't see that too often these days. Poison goes down. Take care of that jazz, and her job is done. So... Uh, does have to hit the ability there just in time. Takes down those CC troops. And the funnel's already created on this side. So in comes this king. Has 10 Valks, like no tanking units, like I said. Quickly gets those wizards down using the king as the tank just so he can create that funnel. And in comes the Valks. Drops one to make sure it goes to the wall as soon as he sees it does. Drops the rest of them. They are just going to beat through this wall in a second. In they go to this chamber and gonna every, everything's just going to work on in. So he's going to drop a jump spell, let him in per usual. But the key here, watch this clan castle. About to go down. There it goes. Max Miner coming out. They're, they are essentially going to kind of just sort of zigzag through these buildings up alongside the Valkyries, right? And just like a lot of Clash Clans strategies, I find you're just trying to force your troops to all sort of come into unison and move through the base in either a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation and then kind of get double benefits from spells like you're seeing right now raid spell goes down getting those max miners in the raid spell loses a, or and a hog there too loses some to spring traps but um, everything's kind of moving to the outside now unfortunately that's why you dropped the raid spell you wanted to bust through the uh, wall but those buildings on the outside were just too close to the valks but it doesn't matter there's no, only two mortars and a barracks on the outside here as soon as those are down all these Valks are going to bust right back in. Has a couple more reinforcement hogs left here. Just dropping them on the Wiz Tower once they get, uh, once everything gets locked onto. <clears throat> Queen kind of stepping into the core as well. Everything just continuing to move through the base. There's really only a cannon, the Expo, and a Tesla to go as a couple hogs. He did not even need those. Absolutely did not. Beautiful, beautiful job there, Mach. Tree in the bag. Twenty-eight. Bottom three attacks. Mouthpiece. <laughs> I wanted to show this attack because this is actually Powerbang just did a video about this. The HGH with bowlers in your clan castle. It's just, it's really, really overpowered. So maybe I'll just talk about this real fast. If you haven't watched that video, idea here is typical hog, uh, healer, giant hog attack. But in your clan castle is uh, max bowlers. So you're going to drop your giants in, send them into the base with healers on them, and then sort of right behind the idea is to drop the bowlers behind. And while the bowlers are behind, they're getting the double benefits of the rage, and they're just smashing through the core. And I'm just, I've am just i been watching these attacks, and they've been super overpowered. Same idea, just get your funnel down using these giants. You can see how Mothpiece does it. He doesn't even bring wall breakers here. That's what I thought was kind of cool about this attack. Like... A couple wall breakers? I don't know. <laughs> but the funny part about this attack, I was watching it, and I'm like, okay, everything's going great. Everything's going in. Here goes this king. He's kind of getting this funnel down. Everything's looking great. Okay, down goes that town hall. Like, so much high hit point. It's all on this side. So once that goes down, just this huge lane opens into the base. So perfect. In goes that queen. In goes that king. Da -da 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 -da. HGH is going fantastic. Oh, wait. 
he still has his bowlers in the clan castle. I guarantee you he forgot to drop them. I didn't watch this attack live or anything. But there's no way he didn't mean for his bowlers to go in with the kill squad. So down they go over here. Sort of unprotected. A few of them lived to the end of the raid though. So it, I don't know. I, just, I was dying laughing when I saw that MP. So that's why I had to show it. Sorry buddy. <laughs> Sorry fearless leader. The late bowlers. You didn't even really need the bowlers here. That's also what I liked about this. Is that you absolutely didn't even need the bowlers because everything's just going to continue to work through the base still have five hogs a whiz minion and a few archers for cleanup the uh builder's huts on the outside that old pekka statue in front of the builder's hut trick hate people that do that <laughs> like go to hell <laughs> 99 percent right there i hate it um anyhow i'm surprised he hasn't actually dropped those archers yet which uh maybe he also forgot about as he was probably watching what his unprotected bowlers were doing but see he's still got two bowlers left they're gonna be out of range of this tesla they're doing cleanup on the outside great absolutely fantastic baby drag down right no air units is gonna be raised the rest of this raid absolutely beautiful still 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 has two hogs and a wizard that he did not need drop some kind of almost pointlessly down on this tesla down here i don't know how much time is left actually maybe that was the issue but mp pulls it out tree stars in a bag for my canadian leader all righty 26 mick gravy love this guy seven healers he's bringing here with um the three rages I believe he's got bowlers in the CC um, and just Valks it. Valks, Valks and bowlers and healers. Um, it, it was almost like this, it, very similar, but basically just saying, screw the giants. I'm just using my king as a tank with all these healers and uh, a little bit of a queen walker charge to, to help out. I believe she this the way this attack works is the queen closes it off and meets up with the kill squad. I'm pretty sure there. Um so we're going to find out how this pans out. Gravy, though, uh, just being super meticulous on his placement, getting tons of just sort of free buildings with these few minions he's dropped. Creating his funnels all over the place. Everything's going good. Queen's just going to take care of this uh, defensive king. A few Teslas pop here. So she ends up taking out basically this whole 6 o'clock section, which is absolutely perfect because the funnel's created up here. Going to use this 9 o'clock for his entry. Just let everything into the base. Poison goes down. Queen's out. Queen almost, I think. Yeah, just wants to spell. Um, this looks like a scary moment, I think, because he did. They do think he wanted to go back up towards the uh, kill squad here. Out comes a clan castle. You need that poison down here in a second. Just has to get that hog in to get the rest of it yanked out. Take care of the archers. No problem. Out comes a couple of Valks and a baby drag. Poison goes down. Take care of that very, very quickly. Down go the Valks. Uses the ability anyway. Probably could have got away with that there, Gravy. Just because he had the archers out, so they were, she, the queen was immediately targeting the Valks before they even got to her. But anyways, good job on that. CC is down. In comes these bowlers, Valks, and the king. Valks going to shred. So, sorry, I guess I should say, instead of giants, you bring Valks. Sort of the same idea. Sending them through the base. Doesn't bring jump spells. Just raging things up. Down goes a heal. Going to keep everything healed is going to drop another raid sword on the backside sprinkling hogs in now from the outside two very quick wizards um kind of at this 10 o'clock just getting cleanup done very early i thought that was great recognizes he's got to get that cannon down so the wizards are protected and does down go the cannons everything still look at these bowlers getting huge value just blasting through this core with the valks ahead just just absolutely working through this base very quickly it's a very powerful attack here you can get bowlers and valks under rage like this buildings just melt so fast everything's just going to kind of continue around the base and it's pretty much clean up this time there's so many troops left just absolutely smashed it good tree star in the bag for gravy nice job buddy Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, 17. Chatty. <clears throat> like this. Brings sort of a little uh, drag swap. Three dragons brings the quakes. Like, very, very just interesting, well thought out attack. Three Valks. Like, just sort of like, it just seems to me like for an army comp like this, just very meticulous planning. That's what I like about it. Just very specific troops. Like who brings three Valks, but they have specific purpose, and I love it. Um, so shatter entry here goes to drop those drags nice and early. Just get that queen out of the way, get the CC taken care of. 
Up comes that baby drag. Now, there are still Valks in there, but because they can't target the drag, obviously they did not get yanked out for that lure there, but no big deal. Uh, shattered entry going down. Wall gets opened up. Everything moving in. Funnel is absolutely perfect. <clears throat> nice quake there over that intersection. Like, look at what that allows you into for the rest of this base. Gonna just uh, basically have no problem getting those two air defense and the shattered entry. And these three Valks is the key here. Because under this heel now, it's almost like a little hybrid max tack with these dragons and hogs. Like, I don't know. I don't even know what to call this. Just absolute hybrid attack all around. <clears throat> heel spell goes down keeping everything up see the valks in there get to that first air defense down it goes next air defense boat to go down starting to send hogs in from the backside. <clears throat> think you would have liked to get to this top air defense faster because obviously one of those drags to work around um, and then send the hogs in and hopefully get that air defense just in time but no big deal still has two wizards he really wants to get those down at 12 o'clock as soon as possible so we can get that cleanup going but other than that most defenses are down base is about to be done for I think there's a Tesla and a mortar to go. Clean up time. Beautiful. Da -da -da. Chatty with the tree in the bag. Nice job, man. Very creative. Like three Valks. I wonder what made you come to that conclusion. I liked it. And seven wizards. Like that's heavy on the wizards too. So anyhow, nice job, buddy. Um, 16, MK, going in on Lars here, excuse me, um, like the idea here, uh, I, I, th I was hoping, I was at MK's group here, planning this attack, uh, just gets this funnel going, wants basically the queen to walk up this side of the base, pull out that CC, takes care of a lot of defenses, like there's one, two, three, four, five defenses, he's kind of all going to encounter one at a time, so gets really good value out of this queen walk here. Um, yanks that CC out and just gonna go right in with six Valks. Smash this base, double jump, one rage, one heal. So out comes a Golem from the CC, drops the poison a little, just kind of early to slow it down, um, and just start the process a little bit. And then drops a Wizard here too. I thought that was good. Want that Queen to just rip through that Golem as soon as possible and continue on her way to finish. Uh, um, walking up and around this base. So here comes the golem now down from the uh, 7 o'clock location. Gets his funnel going here. Blam, blam, blam. Nice and easy. Really only two wizards are needed, a couple minions. And then come the Valks, right? Just using the breadcrumbs. Jump spell goes down. Everything's going to walk right into this queen chamber. Queen locks right onto that golem. So perfect. Valks are going to immediately lock on. Down she goes. See this queen? Instead of walking up and around, I forgot I meant to mention that. Like, really? Like, you're standing... She was standing right here. That's like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, seven tiles. I know. I get it. That there's a, the range with their vision, but... Come on. Like, I just don't get it. She's totally been walking to that ar army camp. No questions asked. No reason. I just failed the raid and actually are... Uh, in the Chicago Live War, and 95% because my queen was standing here, there was buildings over here, and she decided to bust through three sections of walls instead of just walking down and to here to kill the stuff. And I kind of get it. I, I mean, it's probably not easy to program at least that sort of distance, but it's I think it should be increased. Anyhow, whatever. MK smashing it, hogs in all over the base, still has that queen in there doing her thing, has Valks busting through this wall. Unfortunately, they don't make it through. But once this queen gets up there, right, immediately drops the two hogs in each arch tower, and then it's a mortar. He's already got a hog down on this uh, air defense. Clean up wizards on either side of that ring. Absolutely fantastic job, MK. Nice hit, buddy. Tree in the bag. Good old life. Life, I don't know if you read the YouTube comments much, but someone was talking. You, you have a fan club. You absolutely have a fan club. Someone was asking if you, assuming you're watching, if life ever fails an attack, and it's pretty rare. He's one of the highest uh, TH9 three-star percentages. He's absolute beast. Love this guy. Brings his little queen charge, whatever the hell you want to call it, queen walk charge. Gets right in here. Wants to uh, essentially... Um, take care of both enemy heroes. Like I think that I think he walks it 
I think he breaks this corner. Sorry, there's a lot of replays I watched today. Pretty sure he breaks this corner right here. Just walks the queen right in. And see this queen jump out? So locks onto that, no problem. Doesn't even drop a poison. Like, look at the balls on this guy. Just beast through that defensive queen. So in goes the hog, right? Protect those wall breakers. And a few wall breakers in. Corner gets opened up. She's just going to walk right on in. Take care of that defensive uh, king. And take care of just so much out of this. Like, she's been going forever. Like, um, it's already created his funnel down here, mind you. But still, like, this queen charge has been going for a very, very long time. And he just knows. Finally throws down a rage. Has to use a poison. First first time he's used spells on this little queen walk. Out comes that clan castle. And it is go time for the rest of this attack. Um, basically, as soon as he knows uh, this queen or the CC is taken care of, in goes that golem. Funnel is basically already created. Just gets a couple wizards down on that high hit point structure. King goes down. He's got a couple Valks about to send in here. CC uh, comes down. A few wall breakers lets everything in. And then Max Valks come out and a few Valks that he brought. Jump, Nice clean jump spell, right? Like the queen just took out so much of this base. Like it just leaves a perfect section for the Valks to go in. Just sprinkles hogs in on these outer compartments. Really at this point, the base definitely doesn't even stand a chance. But... Like, look, seven hawks, three wizards, uh, and a minion still. And 66% of the base is dead and still going. He's got Valks in there. Finally just hits the king ability for funsies because he's on the expo. Well, the king still had not taken any damage. Just sprinkles the hogs in on these uh, very, very uh, unthreatening uh, outer compartments. Just smashes this base. Nice job, life. Just got to take care of that Tesla. And the cannon. Down they go. Beautiful. Tree in the bag. Nice job, life. All right. And the moment we've all been waiting for. Polly J's very sexy 10 versus 10 triple here. And it's dragons. Yes, you were looking at this troop comp correctly. It's got a double zap quake. He's bringing 10 max drags. A, a baby drag kind of back up a bunch of minis and a max hound in his clan castle so um down go the zap quakes on these two far side air defense um drops a baby drag here uh, actually brought two baby drags but just sort of creates this funnel uh the idea here is to get his heroes into this apartment basically suicide in get that air defense try and get that defensive queen and as much as he can yank that cc out so in goes his max king, max queen, just suiciding right into this base. King really wants to draw this uh, queen out as soon as possible. Out it comes. Rages the king up. Fortunately, his queen goes for a little hike. If his queen had just went in there. Uh, oh, well. Doesn't matter. Obviously, because we know it's going to be a tree in the bag. But the clan castle gets yanked out. It's both things that do not affect dragons. So really, at this point, it doesn't matter. Because once dragons get that queen that she's going to be toast very quickly and it kind of works out because she yanks a few of them over to her right on top of the inferno so down goes defensive queen down goes the inferno good timing on all that this max hound in there doing serious tanking there's no air defense to worry about right so really the hound's sort of staying with this nice big pack of dragons in this one balloon sweeper giving a little bit of trouble but no big deal hound finally is about to burst but the drags have taken out so much of the base at this point still has a few minis just starting to continue to try and create the funnel again you want to just create that create uh, sorry create that uh rotation around the base whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise just allow your troops to all sort of work together here under the same spells, the same everything. Still has a few minis he's going to drop here. Baby Drag goes down at the 12 o'clock. Just going to start uh, getting good value on that. It's really only one Arch Tile that's going to target this thing, right? So uh, being on a rage the whole time, Drag's going to rip through a lot of that while these, uh, sorry, the Baby Drag's going to rip through a lot of that while these Drags slowly work its way up. We're going to have time to do this because Drag attacks are so painfully slow, but it doesn't matter. Just too much left for this base. Tesla's not going to take down three max drags. Down it goes. Goodbye. Grounded Expos, man. Plus, uh, you know what? Part of it is you can't have the Grounded Expos with CC troops that don't target air. Um, because I don't think if you had, if you had some better air targeting CC troops... That suicide uh, little swap for that air defense and the CC troops wouldn't have made it wouldn't have, 
wouldn't have uh, been as successful because uh, you just, as you can see, um, Pauly just left the CC troops alive, but they didn't target air, so it didn't matter. If they were still alive, that would have been uh, given a lot more trouble. But anyhow, drags are going to be hard to d defend against, right? I mean, I think as Town Hall 10, that's something you really got to think about and and at least have two of three of your... Uh, I didn't even check. I was going to check. I don't want to be wrong here. I know this one was grounded. And that one was grounded. Yeah. So I think he, I think we're at the point where um, obviously bowlers and miners are very powerful from the Town Hall 11s beating up. But uh, as Town Hall 10 versus 10 with max drags, if the opponent has all grounded expos, that is very very viable attack so think about that when you're uh, building your bases guys think it maybe at least probably two or three expos you're going to want uh want uh targeted to air anyhow um fantastic war thanks a lot 1.0 always a pleasure matching you guys and you, you guys always put up just awesome awesome results so hats off to you and 2.0 love you guys great effort and uh yeah i think i'm gonna call it a night that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help a bag that next tree start till then i'm out